What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. Today we have a very interesting segment coming from Dr. Phil about a woman whose fiancé that she was with for 10 years who just up and walked away from their relationship on the day of their wedding. Yeah, like that's everyone's worst fear when it comes to relationships. So without further ado, let's meet this woman and hear her side of the story. You guys are going to want to keep watching until the end of this one because her story is actually wild. Anyways, on with the rest of the video. You had no clue until minutes before. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, hold up. I, I got to pause real quick. Do you see that little title card they have up on the screen behind them? What's up with that? And I still love him part. Like, what? How could you still be in love with someone that straight up ditched you on the day of your wedding? Do they still have contact between each other or something? Because this whole relationship dynamic just seems so strange to me. So many unanswered questions and we barely started. I, I hope they clear that up further on in this video, but wow. You said in a matter of minutes, your 10 year relationship went down the drain as well as $20,000. Yeah of my own money that you personally invested in this big day oh my god i didn't even think of the money aspect so this dude had the whole wedding planned by her and she was the only one to invest the money if you were having to fork up all the money in your own wedding um i hate to break it to you but that should kind of be a red flag right there i mean why wouldn't you two both invest together you know you're about to be married so you kind of share finances at that point at least that's how most people do it instead of just having one person bear the entire financial burden of having a wedding because I mean $20,000 guys that's a lot of money to lose and I'd probably hate the person just for that reason alone I mean she could have bought a car with that or I don't know paid for her kids college tuition if she had kids instead of planning this giant wedding just to be ditched on the day of we're in the hotel we're getting ready me and my bridesmaids we're getting makeup done hair done and I'm on the phone with him the whole time I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I'm this dude straight up is on the phone with his girl the whole morning of while she is getting ready and he's probably talking to her on the Bluetooth of his car while he's driving about 100 miles an hour to the airport to start his life somewhere else. That is actually absolutely crazy and that he was even shameless enough to even be speaking to her on that day knowing what he was about to do. Like imagine the absolute disrespect that is to keep stringing her along the whole day like, oh, this traffic is crazy, babe. Don't worry, I'll be there soon. Can't wait. As you're driving in the total opposite direction of the wedding, planning on ditching your fiance and girlfriend of 10 years just like that on the day of your actual wedding. Oh, this dude is a real piece of work, I tell you. You talk to him again, Later, and he says, uh, so you're still not here. What's going on? Traffic. Mm -hmm. Traffic. His Uber caught a flat. Yo, he actually did what I just said. I was like halfway joking, you know, thinking, oh, yeah, he wouldn't actually pull that traffic excuse for real. I mean, no one will be dumb enough to actually do that, right? But then this moron actually did do that. So I honestly feel just so terribly bad for this woman. Think of how special your wedding day is, especially for the bride. I mean, you go through all this planning and setup and all this money stuff, and it's so stressful leading up to this one very important point in your life. And you ruin it forever for this woman by being scared to commit and having cold feet on the day of your wedding. What's crazy is I've heard of this happening, you know, a lot of people have had their apprehensions about relationships and those apprehensions really do come to the surface on the day of your wedding. I mean, your whole family is there and so is theirs and you're about to cross into this new chapter of your life, but I mean, you don't just ditch someone like this, bro. You have to be so heartless. Like the time for decision making has passed. Once you've gone through the process of proposing, you know, you go through the whole wedding planning process and so on and so forth, that ship has sailed. So at least be a big boy and don't humiliate her in front of her family and, and yours too. I mean, come on. But then the Uber got a, that was after. First mm -hmm. it was traffic, then the Uber got a yeah. flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at 10 o'clock he had to know when he's caught in traffic, he had to know. Oh my God. So this dude was straight up on the couch watching Netflix, texting his fiance that he's on the way to their wedding when really he's just sitting there watching television. Oh, what a total and utter piece of garbage. Like this dude has some serious audacity to even do any of this. He even lied about his Uber having a flat. So that's what delayed him even more. Like, what did he think that it would get to a time where she would be like, oh, well, guess we'll just try another time. Like, no, you can only lie about being in traffic or bad situations for so long until people realize that you're just never going to show up, man. Tell me what 
went down here. You actually went looking for him, right? Yes, I did and, go looking and for him. You true MVP right here. This is her maid of honor talking and she wasn't buying it. So you know what she did? She went out and went on a literal manhunt looking for this guy because apparently she knew he was, you know, kind of shady beforehand and didn't believe all of his lies. I mean, I know traffic can be bad, but it's never so bad that you can't get across the city to your wedding all day. Plus, I mean, everyone else got here and I'm sure people had to come from farther distances. So yeah, at that point, she just took it into her own power and went out looking for him herself. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. I decided that I was gonna go ahead and go searching for him. So I took my mom's car and I um, was making a left turn at an intersection and a SUV actually crashed into me and totaled my whole car. Oof, well, uh, that, that was an unexpected turn. <laughs> this really sounds like just an all around terrible day for everyone involved. And I mean, indirectly, this dude got this woman's car totaled because had she not gone out to go looking for him, she wouldn't have gotten in that crash. So he's at fault for that too, just for lying in general. Wow, I'm really hoping my future wedding goes nowhere nearly as bad as this. I mean, I know it won't because I'm not gonna ever just walk out on someone like that, but still, this is some bad luck for everyone involved. And you, so you go to the hospital, so you don't even know until she shows up at the hospital that the wedding didn't take place. Exactly. Yo, wow, okay, so she legit had to go to the hospital. I mean, that's super heartbreaking. She was just trying to be a good friend and help out her bride that she is the maid of honor to by looking for the groom that just seems to have ran off on her. And now she's sitting in the hospital and later finds out that this was all for nothing as he never planned on showing up in the first place. I would be infuriated if I were her, honestly. Well, you know, I love you guys very, very much, but I have to be honest. And I wanted to let you guys know that I am talking to him. Plot twist, well, not for us because the dude's in charge of the backdrop in the first clip. Spoiled it for everyone watching, but I mean, plot twist for everyone else involved, I guess. Yeah, remember how I said how awful this dude was for doing that to her and how I would never talk to that person again if that happened to me? Well, she doesn't share that sentiment. In fact, she's actually now talking to him again and pursuing a relationship. I don't know how you could ever trust someone after that. I mean, props to her. If they can find a way to work through that, I mean, I really don't know, but I don't think I could personally or even would want to. That's just something that you don't do to someone you love. No matter how anxious you were on that day or how worried about your future, you simply don't propose, plan a whole wedding, and then ditch that person while lying to them the whole time on the day of the actual wedding. Like, what a jerk. I'm just going to repeat that again. Hey, you guys made it pretty far into this video, so before we continue, I'd like to challenge you to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell in the next five seconds. And if you can do that, your bride or groom or whoever you marry will not walk out on you on the day of your wedding. I know that's already expected, but I mean, it's better than what happened to this lady, am I right? Anyways, on with the rest of the video. You're not just talking to him on a fact-finding mission. True? True. So him? let's tell them the rest of the story. Oh, okay, now she's lying to them, and you have her mom literally over here crying on the sidelines watching her daughter ruin her life on someone who is not worthy. That has to be so sad to be in the mom's shoes right here because you want to parent your child, but you know that they are an adult and, you know, they're going to make their own decisions, but you know that this guy just really is not the right move. She was kind of making it seem like she was just talking to him again to find closure and to get some information on why he did that to her, but that's not what it's actually like. She is talking to him again romantically and they're possibly trying to pursue a relationship once again, which is just so utterly mind-blowing to me that they will even try this again because, I mean, after you walk out on your bride at the wedding in my eyes there's really no coming back from that i don't care how strong your relationship is supposedly the only way you can actually move on is if you cut him off you're just giving him a chance to hurt you again and it wasn't a mistake a mistake is you waking up late the day of the wedding that's not a mistake that's like premeditated yeah they both bring very good points up here i mean she's acting like he is the good guy in this situation that just goes to show how manipulative this guy must be when in reality she is the one that got hurt in the end and he was straight up lying the whole day it wasn't like he just forgot and they were getting married and he, you know he slept in or something like that woman said 
said he was lying to her on the phone the whole time, acting like he was trying his best to get there, but he kept running into roadblocks, when in reality, you know, he was probably sitting at home on his couch in basketball shorts watching cartoons. Like, this dude is an absolute clown for doing that, and why would you want to give someone like that another chance in your life? This guy probably just realized how bad he messed up and is trying to salvage it, but he doesn't really deserve a second chance after that. That's at least my stance on it. And I mean, you do have to remember, in her eyes, these people were together for a decade, so there is much more to this relationship than we can see or understand from just, you know, meeting her for a few minutes here. But still, I think she is an actual idiot for even thinking of giving this guy a second chance after this. Don't you remember how mortified you were on the day of the wedding? I Don't do. you remember how you said, I no do. matter what, and you promised and you swore, and you can't forget what he did to you and how you felt. With that, I think I'm just going to end it. I mean, the friend has a really good point here. Still, it's kind of mind-blowing how low of a standard she has set for herself by going back to him. If you enjoyed, make sure to like this video and comment below what you thought. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.